Hi, in this video I want to share with you my thoughts about a specific topic, the samba rhythm or the bossa nova rhythm, and why people get it wrong. And I don't want to blame anybody in this video, I just want to share information with you that you will probably find useful, I hope so. So here's the first reason why people probably got this rhythm wrong. If I play the pattern that is known that is usually known as the bossa nova pattern, and which is very rarely played in bossa nova. Here it is. This is the samba rhythm, the very famous samba rhythm, but inverted. So this rhythm was not play, is not played in bossa nova almost never, but the, the inverted rhythm of this one is very common in samba. This is, I would say this is the rhythm of samba. One, two, three, four. So the first reason why I think people got it wrong is what I call the trick of the beginning, which means that when in Brazilian music, when we start a tune, usually we start on the beat. So we play one bar of the second bar of the samba rhythm, which is a rhythm that we can write on two bars, and it goes again and again. But when the singing starts, it starts when the rhythm is on the up beat. So on the first bar of the samba rhythm, but if you don't notice that the, the singer starts at this moment, it's not easy to understand how the pod pattern, uh, where is the beginning of the pattern, in fact. So if you count, let me show you an example. Let's play Chega de Saudade. So I will do an intro and there will be three bars in the intro. One, two, three, four. So I did on the beat, a beat, on the beat, and then I started singing. So I started with the wrong bossa nova pattern, but when I started singing it was the samba pattern. I hope you understand this, but maybe one of the reasons why people don't get it right is that they think that the first bar of the whole song, which is the intro, is the starting of the pattern, but it's not. It's the middle of the pattern. There's a whole bunch of songs, of samba song and also bossa nova songs, because bossa nova is very much influenced by samba, where you can hear this very clearly. So I will give you links in the description of this video. Another reason why people probably got it wrong is that in Brazil in particular, music isn't transcribed on written sheets of music. It's a very um, oral thing. It's transcribed by mimicking others and it's not very rationalized, not that much. I had, for example, when I learned the um, samba rhythm, the main samba rhythm in Cavaquinho, I used to watch a lot of videos of Brazilian people playing and they didn't explain anything, they didn't give the first beat, so it was very difficult to understand how it was because I have a more rational way of thinking of this, these things, because I'm French, I'm not Brazilian. <laughs> so this was very difficult. And also to be able to transcribe bossa nova patterns or bossa nova rhythms played by João Gilberto, for example, you have to be able to transcribe this, and this is difficult, and many people transcribe it bad. I saw many videos on YouTube of people explaining this is the rhythm, and here's the song where you can hear this rhythm, and it's not the right rhythm that has been transcribed, so it's difficult to transcribe this. So this is also a reason why it's not understood so well. 
another reason that may explain this is that people want exoticism. When they don't have that in their country, in the music of their country, let's take the ex my example in France, the, the music from France is mostly classical music and it's not very... We don't have a lot of upbeats. So when we hear a music that has upbeats like salsa or samba or bossa nova, we want to make it sound even more... We, to give even more dancing feel, you know, so to, to add a lot of upbeats. So when we... This is probably why when I show the rhythm, the, the very standard rhythm in bossa nova, like this, People are like, oh, I thought this was bossa nova. Well, no, this is another style of music that I don't know, but it's not bossa nova, sorry. <laughs> so they want to add a lot of exoticism, and this is maybe why people like this. Also, another reason why you most people show this rhythm is because I would say fake news spread very fast. It's very common to see people on YouTube giving tutorials, showing tutorials about things that didn't transcribe. They just saw a tutorial. They thought, oh, I could explain things better. I just mimic what this person is playing and I'd explain it better. I publish a tutorial and I just, I mean, I just, I don't check if the reference are good, I don't transcribe the songs, and so the fake news, fake news, I would say, <laughs> spread fast. Another thing is that it's better to transcribe the people who played at the origin of bossa nova, to get the bossa nova rhythm right. If you transcribe a song that has been recorded a few years ago by someone who never played any bossa nova, but has one, bossa no one very nice bossa nova song on his album, well, probably you won't get a very specific bossa nova rhythm, or you might, but if the guitar player or the arranger transcribe or knows how to play bossa nova, but it's not so common. So it's pretty common that I hear a song, a bossa nova song, or in Spotify playlist, and it's not bad. It's just that the rhythm is not a typical bossa nova rhythm. And my last point is not a tip, is I want to ask you if you have information about this, of how this rhythms, uh, how did they spread at the time where Bossa Nova was created, with the Stan Getz recording, for example, in the US, how the information got to the musicians and why today many people teach a Bossa Nova rhythm that you, it's very hard to find in Bossa Nova recordings. If you have this information, if you have information about this, if you know websites that explain or videos of people explaining this, I'm very much interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have other videos about Bossa Nova explaining various things that are related to this video but a bit different. Please share this video, please subscribe if you like this video and see you soon. E ela a menina que vem, que passa no doce balanço, o caminho do mar. Moça do corpo dourado do sol de Ipanema, o seu balançado é mais que um poema, e a coisa mais linda que eu já vi passar. Ah, porque eu estou tão sozinho.